as the baby boomers. Como dos extremos, ¿no? De padres, nos encontramos unos padres por un lado, los padres helicópteros. Y esto ha sido así, digamos, a partir de o sea, los que proponemos son ampliación de los permisos parentales. In the Department of Sociology at Oxford University, we have an approach uh, that is theory-based but seriously empirical and comparative in nature. So when we study people and society, we look at the actual experience of people, their lives, the actual experience of families, children, women and men, old people and we try to compare how this happens through society and how this uh, basically interplays with their well-being. Traditionally, in societies that were less developed, there were large families and people have uh, a big number of children. This is true if we look at the past of human population, it's also true if you look at poor societies nowadays. So we tend to associate in our way of thinking big families with uh, poverty and underdevelopment. However, very recently uh, we, uh, together with uh, a group of other researchers, the basic findings were published in 2009 with uh, Mick Komirsky and Hans-Peter Kohler from the University of Pennsylvania then. We, we found that at high level of development the relationship is different. It is the other way around. That is, the uh, societies that are doing best tend to have larger families. By large, I'm not meaning the large families that we think of when we look at historical time or poor societies. No, not an average of four, five, six, even eight children. But we are speaking about the difference between, let's say, two and one child per couple, per family. So when we look at advanced societies, uh, now, uh, difficulties are associated with smaller families and well-being is associated with larger families. That is particularly important because if this was not the case, in the long run we'll be facing a big problem. That is, societies that are doing well are so, sort of destroying themselves because they are not reproducing. What we found in the recent year is that societies that are doing well will find a way to make sure that people will have their work and family goals are more compatible. In addition to this, uh, these societies that are doing well are also attracting migrants and are integrating them in a better way. So in a sense what is going on in demography now is that a good society uh, obtains a good demographic balance. Societies that are facing trouble, for instance in Europe, Southern European societies or Eastern, Central and Eastern European societies, however, have, are in a problematic situation because they are not yet uh, at the level of uh, having a good uh, work-family balance and they are not yet at the level of securing an adequate reproduction of the population. That will bring uh, problems in the future, population aging being the main problem.